The back nine that Abigail starts with a par four, and there's a large mature tree guarding the fairway. We end up on the right side and hit one back into the fairway. Around a 110 yard approach to the green. And we end up on the fringe. We bump one on that didn't roll out as much as we'd thought and have a 15 footer for a bogey. Good pace and we card a double bogey on hole 10. The 11th hole is the first of the par 5's on the back 9. It plays slightly uphill and it's a dog leg to the left. First two shots are okay. Third was the top. And we're left with a 96 yard approach to the green over extensive bunkering, which we definitely don't want to end up in. So we're happy to be on the green in four and are putting for par. Stops close, take a tap in bogey. Hole 12 is stroke index 1 at Abigail. We hit a decent drive and an okay second shot, and are left with an 80 yard approach to the green. Always happy to be on the green in three and we're putting for par. Good pace again and we'll take another tap in bogey. Hole 13 is the first of the par threes on the back nine. It's a medium length par three. Missed the green short right. Chip one on, have another putt for par. Reasonable length for that putt. Unfortunately, the bogey putt slides by in close range and will take a three putt double bogey. Hole 14 is another par four. This plays up the hill slightly. And our second shot is leaked to the right. Approach was from the rough and it clipped a tree branch as it went through. So we end up in the green side bunker. Quick splash out. Have an 18 footer for a bogey. Slides by. And we lip out from close range. And card a three putt triple bogey. Hole 15 is one of the shorter par fours at Abigaili. And we hit a good drive into the fairway. We have a chance to go for the green in two. But miss hit the second shot. We still have a short pitch to the green for the third shot. And have a long lag putt for a par. So that was a tough putt, and now we're faced with an eight footer for a bogey. Stops close and we tap in for three three putts in a row and that was a double bogey. Hole 16, the tee shot is miss hit into the trees on the left. It's 
Second shot is another slight miss hit from the ref. So the third shot, we're just trying to leave ourselves with a reasonable approach to the green. We have a shot from around 75 yards. So we hit our best approach shot of the day, close to the pin, and it's great for the confidence. We're looking at a 12 footer for a bogey. We missed the putt short, tap in and take the double bogey. Hole 17 is a tricky par 3, it plays all up the hill and it's an absolute card wrecker if you end up in the wrong spot. So we're looking to hit the green in 2 and avoid all the trouble short right. So we have the par putt that we wanted. Hit it to close range. And card another bogey. Hole 18 is a par 5 and the signature hole at Abigelli. It's distinctive in that it has far reaching views from the tee box and nearly the entire hole slopes steeply from right to left. So our first two shots went okay. On the third shot, we're just laying up before the bridge which is a 104 small to a middle pin. I'm just going to hit an eight, eight iron and get it there, hopefully. So that's the on course analysis of the next shot in front of the clubhouse 104 to a middle pin. And we missed the green to the right. Bump one on. We have an eight footer for a bogey. Slides by. We're going to take the double bogey on the last. So the score was 52 on the back nine with one blow up hole number 14. Overall score was 105 with no lost balls, which is good progress for me and encouraging as there are many parts of this round where I can improve and make up strokes in the future on the road to breaking 100. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this and I'll leave you with some extra footage from Abigail Golf Club.